Good morning, Senior Stoner fans. This is the real Senior Stoner back at you on Sunday morning for your car to e-rig dab of the day. Good morning, everybody. Well, interesting topic today. Driven by another person. Yesterday, I had a best friend of mine, really best friend of mine for 50 years, come over to the house. Haven't seen him in six months or so. And I did something I probably shouldn't have done. And it worked. I fluffed up, pruned, preened myself, fluffed up, plucked up, stuck my chest out, stood without a cane, and was a big boy. And you know what? I'm really hurting from it now. And I kind of told him about it when he, before he left that I had done it. And I think he asked me why. And I said, I don't know. I wanted to show my best. I wanted to look good for you. I wanted you to see me looking good. Here's the challenge with that. If it's not really how you feel. If he knew that my neck was starting to go at level 8, 9, and I'm going to need another denervation in the beginning of the day, he might have said, let's not go out for lunch. He might have said, I'll drive. All those different things. But... What happens, and this is a problem, that's why I'm talking about it, is people, we let our egos, we let our need to feel good emotionally outweigh what reality is. I'm having a very tough time right now. I'm even having a tough time catching my breath on a deep breath. I'm going to the cardiologist tomorrow. Because I'm worried about myself. I can't complete a yawn, a variety of issues going on, and now the pain's firing. So I probably should have, let's look at this in retrospect. I probably should have let my friend come over, sat in a chair with my feet up, had lunch called in, and took it really easy. Instead of fluffing up, propping up, faking myself, and now having the aftermath, which is not just the culmination of what I did, but it's a culmination of what I didn't do. I didn't take good care of myself yesterday and the day before. So I know I've talked about it a lot, and I'm not taking my own advice. I am letting my ego get in my way. I'm letting who I was, who I want to be, get in the way of who I truly am and dealing with that. I know I talk about it. I know you all hear me speak about it a lot. I don't, obviously, obviously, take my own advice. And that's becoming a real challenge for me. I am concerned about myself tomorrow at the cardiologist. Um, I've never had issues. And so it's a little scary for me. And I'm going to let them do whatever they have to do. They want to do a chest x-ray, I'm going to let them do it. And we're going to find out what's going on. But I have a philosophy about things unfortunately, because of the amount of interventions that have been done to me surgically. I have a philosophy about things because of the way narcotics affect me. I have a philosophy about things because of what I've heard. I have a philosophy about things because I saw my sister die of cancer after having surgery and multiple treatments where she looked at me and said, Senior Stoner, I wish I never had those treatments. It made me much worse. My life was horrible. I would have just liked to have gone and dealt with it. Now, I know this is a big thing to be talking about right now. I'm going four steps forward from what reality is. I don't know the answer to what's wrong with me. But I do have an approach. I don't want long, sustained pain. I don't want it. I've had too much. I have a therapist who's been with me for maybe 18 years and tells me, well, when the pain you're in the pain you live with, who would want to live to be 80? I'm 61, by the way. So, you know, that's a harsh reality for a medical professional to hit you with, but it made sense at the time, and then I kind of shelved it, but it's getting harder and harder, even though I'm supposed to make it easier and easier. And part of it, damn it, is because I'm not taking my own advice on a lot of these things. Let's take our dab. I probably shouldn't even be taking this today with chest issues. But I am a creature of habit, and I want to do things consistently. So here we go. Here's our card e rig dab of the day. Not going to be a deep toke right now, but it's going to get rolling. 
Cheers, everybody. So here's the challenge. I could do a thousand what ifs, but let's do what was. What happens to me the next time somebody comes over? What happens to me the next time I want to fluff up? What am I going to do? Am I going to put my back brace on? Am I going to put my knee brace on? Am I going to put my ankle brace on? Am I going to use my cane? What am I going to do? Or am I going to try to be something I'm not? There is the challenge. Many of us, I'm sure, for relatives, for friends, for significant others, we try to be something we are not. It's not a men thing. It's a human thing. We try to be something we're not. What I'm telling you, telling you all, is it doesn't work. Because there are blowbacks that happen. The blowback of the aftermath. The blowback of, of hardly being able to get into the hot tub right now. The blowback is difficult to deal with. But none of us have a crystal ball. You shouldn't be too hard on yourself if it happens to you. We all do these things. I just want to point out what a fool I was. Because my friend would have accepted me in a hospital bed with tubes. He's my friend. And your friends will too. So don't be something you're not. Be yourself. And maybe the pain will be less. This is the Real Senior Stoner back at you on Sunday. Have a great day, everybody. And remember, be who you are. Cheers.